What is up, ladies and gentlemen, this is David here with Mac Tutorials 14. It's been a long time coming, and today, finally, I'm going to show you guys how to get White Door 7 on an iPod Touch 2nd generation MC model on Mac OS X. <music> Alright guys, so before we get started in this tutorial, I just wanted to go into settings, general, about, and show you guys that this newly restored device is on iOS 4.2.1. Alright guys, so let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and go down to the link in the description below, and it should bring you to this page. It should be www.whitedoor.com. Uh, so anyway guys, what we're going to go ahead and do now is once we're, we are on that page, we're going to go ahead and select the installation tab as you guys can see. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And after we've clicked that, you're going to go ahead and scroll over to where it says iPod Touch 2G. Next, you're going to go ahead and select Mac OS X. But I am also highlighting here that Windows is an option. So this does work on Windows as well. But for the purpose of this video, we will select Mac OS X. Anyway, now we're going to go ahead and scroll up to where it says download the firmware. Next, you're going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit to where it has the uh, download button. Go ahead and download that. It will download it in a dot .zip, as you guys can see. Uh, go ahead and extract that. It takes five to six minutes. I already downloaded it. But anyway, uh, so go ahead and open it. It should extract to a folder. Next, what you're going to want to do is go, go ahead and connect your device. That is the next step in this process. So you're going to go ahead and connect our device right now. As you guys can see, though, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and throw up my iPod on the screen. Um, as you guys can see, this is a newly restored device on iOS 4.2.1. No Cydia, it's not jailbroken, it doesn't have White Door 7 installed on it, and I am doing this for the first time. So anyway, as you guys can see, what we're going to do now is go ahead and plug in our iPod to the computer and make sure it's recognized. Now, once the computer recognizes it, we're going to go ahead and go into where it says Mac OS X iReb, and it should uh, have the cover art of a little terminal shell window. So once it is connected and I or not iTunes, but the computer recognizes it, we will double click on it. So it does say waiting for DFU mode. So we're going to hold down the power and the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, as you guys can see, it says executing steak sauce exploit. Steak sauce sent and executed successfully. You may now restore to a custom ISPW within iTunes by clicking the option key and left clicking the restore button. All right, guys, so the next step in this tutorial is opening up iTunes. As you guys can see, our iPod Touch is recognized by iTunes, but anyway, you guys just want to go ahead on your keyboard, hold down the option key, and go ahead and click Restore iPod. Next, a window should open that looks like this. Go ahead and select the ISPW and press Open. As you guys can see, it should be custom restoring to the White Door 7 firmware in iTunes. So we're just going to give that a little while. I sped that up, as you guys can see, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are done with our computer, so we can go ahead and unplug our iPod from the computer. But anyway, go ahead and slide to unlock, swipe over. As you guys can see, I do have Cydia. I am jailbroken, but where are my iOS 7 icons? So the way to fix this is basically go by going to settings, going to white door settings, and then going ahead and trying to load it up. It will try to load up, and then after a little while, after a couple of seconds, it should crash out to the home screen and bring you iOS 7 icons. So there we go. But where are exclusive features like Control Center? So the way to actually enable those is by going to Settings again and going back into White Door Settings, and this time it should fully load up. And once it fully loads up, you're going to go ahead and tap White Door Settings, as I said, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And once White Door Settings fully loads up, it should tell you that you can swipe from left to right to go ahead and um, swipe through pages and enable certain things. So as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and swipe there. Let's go ahead and enable iOS 7 folders. 
Let's go ahead and enable that. Let's say we want to enable Sarah, which is kind of like Siri. Let's say we want to enable, I don't know, different things like that, LS bounce. Let's say uh, we also want to go ahead and enable Control Center. Um, so after we're done that, I think there's maybe one thing else we could do. We could do advanced settings, so we're going to go ahead and accept that. And what that does, it's going to load up and let us customize our device even more with iOS 7 style things. So anyway, as you guys can see, here is the list. I have a lot of customization towards this device, and that is why I love White Door 7 so much, because you can fully customize you know, the iPod Touch 2G to make it look like iOS 7, even though the latest official version of iOS that the iPod Touch 2G does support is 4.2.1. Accurate um, ver control center. But anyway, you don't want to go ahead and back out of it. You want to go ahead and apply these changes because if you just press the home button to get out of it, it will not apply the changes. So you have to tap the apply changes button. As you guys can see, I did actually go, I did actually speed that up. Anyway, as you guys can see, let me go into settings, general, about, and actually show you guys we are not on 4.2.1, we are on 3.1.3. .3. So White Door 7 actually downgrades our device. But anyway, guys, as you guys can see, here is the iOS 7 style lock screen, and there is Control Center. So it does really look like iOS 7 style Control Center. So I do give the developers of White Door 7 a big thumbs up for that. It really does look like iOS 7. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and show you guys what Cydia looks like. So I'm going to go ahead to sli and slide to unlock, as you guys can see. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, I'll just play around with the media controls and control center real fast. Show you guys how it works. But anyway, I think we're done with that. So we're going to slide to unlock. And as you guys can see, we have a nice little animation there. And we can also access control center from the home screen. Now we don't get notification center for whatever reason. Uh, but we do, if we double tap, we do get the iOS 7 uh, card style way to multitask. But anyway, as you guys can see, let me open up settings. I'll just show you guys this. Let me open up photos as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I think I might open up one more application. No, I'm just going to double tap. So anyway, as you guys can see here is the card style. Um, and anyway, if you go ahead and swipe up on settings, it is a little, it's a lot more sensitive on iOS 7, but as you guys can see, it does get rid of it. And then if we go ahead and swipe up on the home screen tab, it will ask us if we want to respring. So if I tap yes, you will see that it will load the respring just fine. As you guys can see, let's just go ahead and respring our device. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. As you guys can see, it takes an automatic effect. There it is. There's the respring. But anyway, guys, yeah, so let's go into Cydia now. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on Cydia, and let's let this load up. Anyway, guys, here is Cydia. Um, I am on iOS 3.1.3, jailbroken, with White Door 7 installed. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. This is the Cydia, the latest Cydia build, I guess, for the device. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really hope this helped. And anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. This is David, signing out.